Hi, this is Steve Preston for M Broadcast, and with me today is Stephen Lampin from Belden. He's going to give us a little inside information about cabling. Hi. Um, you know, the interesting thing that's happening here is uh, there's a ton of 4K. Everybody's talking about 4K, the next step in video. And we have an interesting story about 4K because we expected we would have to bring out brand new cables to do that. 4K means 12 gigahertz of bandwidth, which is a huge bandwidth. And so we had new numbers ready to go and we're starting to design new cables. And then we tested the cables we already have to make sure where we start with this project. And guess what? Our cables are fine. Now this was a black day for Belden because what it meant is the cables we've made for the last 20 years are working fine at 12 gig at 4K. Okay. That's very impressive. Uh, so did you go back to the drawing board on uh, any of the cables you were designing? No, in fact, well, we're going to eventually try and improve on those designs, but that's like taking, you know, a race car and making it even a better race car. That's going to be a lot of work. So, in fact, the cables that are already out there that they already have installed, they're going to work just fine. The only thing they need to know is what the distances are going to be for 4K. They will be less than they are for standard video. And does it cause any problem with the connectors themselves? Is that an issue? Oh, that's a serious issue. And for us, it's even more serious. We don't bring out, we don't have a 4K connector yet. There are five manufacturers in the world who do claim that they have 4K BNCs ready to go. But in terms of other connectors like a mini DIN or uh, a mini BNC, there are no 4K connectors that we're aware of anywhere. So that's a very serious issue. And uh, any other developments going into the future that you can talk about? Well, I mean, there, there are three things we're talking about here. First is coax, which everybody thought was dead and clearly is not dead, has some more life in it still. Then we have data cables. I mean, our friends at Grass Valley are always talking about 10 gig. We produce many different 10 gig cables. In fact, we have a brand new one out called 10GXS, which is a quarter smaller than our regular 10 gig cable, so smaller, lighter, easier to put in kind of thing. And uh, on top of that is fiber, which has been with us for 50 years now. And people still think it's going to be the way that they're eventually going to go. It really hasn't happened, but, but who knows, this might, 4K, 8K might be the time when fiber really starts to shine. So there are three choices, and part of the problem is people don't know which way to go. And really, to be honest, we don't know which way to go either, so we're going to support whichever way the marketplace drives us. Uh, and the issues now, we are looking forward at 8K, people are beginning to talk about 8K, but what issues do we have there? Oh, 8K. Well, we're having the, enough time working about 4K right now, but 8K, there's one interesting thing about 8K, which is that resolution is so dramatic that uh, an average uh, screen at an average viewing distance is greater resolution than the human eye. And so it means that 8K will be a stopping place on this road to more resolution, that 16K, 32K won't mean anything to us humans. It might mean it to your pet eagle or somebody, but it certainly won't to us. And then what they'll probably do is look at things like uh, high bit rates, high frame rates, 3D, there are all sorts of things that will get revisited as we go along that will increase the bandwidth for a different reason. And uh, where we go from there, that's a, that's a great question. I don't think anybody really knows. And are there any particular areas from Belden's point of view that are of interest to the market? Well, the interesting thing is that traditional broadcasting seems to some ways, uh, it's not dying, but it's transforming itself into something. And uh, a lot of people are unaware where we're going. I mean, uh, we talk a lot about IP as a delivery system and over the top, which is uh, a very common way of delivering stuff to the end user. Uh, the strange thing is that there is one customer out there who is saying next year they will be the world's largest broadcaster, and that's Netflix. Now, wait a minute, that's not a broad, he doesn't have a transmitter but he says he's going to be the largest broadcaster in the world. So this clearly is changing. It's rapidly changing into a different medium. Okay, that's great. Uh, Stephen, thank you very much for taking time to speak to us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Stephen Preston for In Broadcast.